called into question this morning. As Kaplan's Yennefer Rivas reports, Houston detectives spent eight years searching for a man who neighbors say was never missing. Houston men found a lie after eight years. Rudy Farias went missing on March 6 of 2015 in Houston, Texas. He was found last week sleeping outside of a local church. Rudy Farias was 17 years old when he was walking his two dogs in Northwest Houston and vanished. Tim Healy was one of the dozen of people looking for him. He's alive. I mean, this is one of them miracles that you don't experience very often. He was found with numerous bruises and cuts across his body. By the time he went missing, he was suffering from depression after losing his brother in a motorcycle accident. As week, the case remained under investigation while he was recovering in a hospital. But yesterday, investigators with HPD's missing person units interviewed Rudy Faria and his mother. Shocking news allegations are coming to light after activists Juana Alex and investigators talked to Rudy Farias, who is now 25 years old. Juana X say Farias told him he had been sexually abused and heavily drugged by his mom for years. No child should ever be treated like that by your own mother. This young man said that when he initially ran away, he came back two days later and she told him that he had to hide, that he was going to get in trouble, and they were going to arrest him for running away. Farias claimed he wasn't allowed to leave the home where his mom would sexually abuse him. She convinced him that all type of agencies were looking for him to put him in jail. We asked him, why did you run away? And he said he just got tired of her not respecting his boundaries. And she said that he wanted his own life and his exact word was, I was tired of living like a slave. Neighbors are shocked to find out Farias was found because they never knew he was reported missing. He used to come in my garage <laughs> and beat my, chill my cousin, my son, my daughter. She's at work right now, but that boy ain't been missing since he was no. We were chilling, laughing, good time. Some days he'd go to the park and sit in the park around the corner by himself. Farias also told him he went to work with his mother and was allowed to hang out with neighbors because his mother believed enough time had passed that no one would recognize him as a missing person. There are a lot of unanswered questions surrounding this case. Keep you updated as we learn more. For Captain News, I'm Jennifer Rivet.